Hey guys, my name is Billy Barton and I'm the National Sales Manager for Security and Defense here at Contact Industries. And today we're going to be talking about some basic principles when creating man traps or access control vestibules. So what we're talking about here guys, generally we're talking about front entrances to facilities. This could be a financial institution, a government building, anywhere where you need additional security for the main entrance to your building. And of course there's a lot of different ways to do it and you're going to have to make these decisions based upon you know, your threat and vulnerability assessment. You know, what, what kind of threats are you expecting to face? you know, what kind of assets or personnel you're protecting inside of the building. All this comes into play when making these decisions. We're just going to talk about some of the variables to, to think about and, and different options for you to consider. So for man traps or, or access control vestibules, we're, we're talking about redundant entries, usually, you know, a door, short hallway, another door, or it could be a door into some kind of access control facility where you have, you know, maybe searches happening, metal detectors, things like that, and then the actual doors into the main facility all depends on the scale. A few things to consider. Number one, typically we're gonna look at different levels of identity verification measures coming through each entry. So maybe your outside one is open to the public or maybe it requires a key entry, whatever the case may be, and inside you have something different whether that requires someone into the facility to grant access, whether it requires maybe an RFID tag or punching in a number code, whatever those different identity verification measures are, they're usually gonna be different for each entry. We then start thinking about things like metal detectors are sometimes built in as well as an additional level of verification that weapons aren't coming in and things like that. Past this point, we start thinking about physical security. So in the event that we're trying to keep someone from gaining access to the facility, how do we actually make sure that happens? Kind of some of the simplest basic levels we can think about are forced entry materials for our windows, doors, things of this nature. And kind of the cheapest, easiest measure is going to be some kind of security film that's applied to your glass or glass doors. This is not going to provide you any level of really ballistic protection. It's going to be called ballistic film, but it's ballistic in the same way like a pair of safety glasses is ballistic, right? It, it helps you protect from flying objects, not flying bullets, right? Those are two different kinds of ballistic protection. So what the film is going to do for you really is help keep folks out that are trying to gain access to your facility, maybe with things like bricks, baseball bats, other kinds of blunt force impacts. The film is going to help provide a lot of protection to the glass against that kind of attack and help delay or even keep folks out of your facility. The next level up would be actual forced entry rated glass and doors. This is going to really not just protect the glass, but also increase the protection in your framing systems and your door hardware. It's a much more holistic look. And of course your cost is going to go up with this solution. But if you really want to make sure that folks can't get into your facility with maybe things like crowbars, again, you know, bricks, bats, things of that nature, this is going to be the best level of protection. Beyond that, we may want to look at things like ballistics, right? So if you're worried about ballistic threats, we can absolutely look at things like ballistic rated glass, other kinds of transparent armor there, ballistic rated doors, wall panels and materials, making sure that in the event that someone did try to attack the facility, rounds can't get through and damage either your facility or more importantly, people that might be inside your facility. We can provide a lot of protection against that with things like ballistic glass. Lastly, one thing to consider is is the vehicle threat as well. So in the event that you add these layers of protection like transparent armor, you know, film, whatever it may be, one of the easiest ways for folks to bypass all that and still gain entry is simply with a vehicle, right? And so you may want to consider things like bollards or crash rated planters or other kinds of barriers in front of your entry or vestibule to prevent access with a vehicle to simply break through those doors and gain access that way. So these are some different layers. Obviously, there's a lot more to think about. You can think about things like, you know, security and surveillance, access control, a lot of different things to consider when we talk about these vestibules, but just a few different layers of things we can help you with here at Contech Industries. Hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Info at contactindustries.com.